Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's Forex Market Analysis we had a kindish, very slow day. However, we were able to take one single trade. Uh, it was a bad pattern on USD CAD. Unfortunately, it was a loser. But at the end of the session, in the afternoon session, I have a small commentary and I make a prediction for next week. It, the trade has a big potential and it, it's one of the pairs that I still I didn't backtest, I mean, I backtested, backtested it in full, but I didn't implement it in my system. So I'm not going to take it, but it might be something that you might be interested in taking and putting on your radar for next week. So make sure to check this video up until the end. We are coming right back, so stay tuned. What's up everybody, welcome back to the Daily Forex Market Analysis on this beautiful, beautiful Friday, the 22nd of March. Okay, so what do we have in front of me? We have my six pair portfolio, USD, CAD, Aussie CAD, Aussie USD, Euro dollar, Pound dollar and Pound Yen. And one of the reasons why I didn't record and upload any video yesterday on Thursday is because the market, although we did check out quite a few trades, none of them got filled per our rules. So we didn't get engaged in any of them. Uh, with that being said, one of them is right here in front of you. And this would be uh, this bad pattern here on this candle and as you can see here on my rules that I have a, as a reminder on the screen is I should not, it needs to go overbought and oversold a candle prior to my entry candle needs to go overbought and oversold and this was that candle here if you check out the overbought condition 68 so we didn't get engaged with it and as you can see that was the right decision ultimately because it had our stop losses three candles after uh what do we see today here I, I don't see anything anything of of big interest here so i wouldn't bet maybe this maybe just this maybe this a bad pattern like x to a a to b b to c c to d we will see how will this go today but this is the only thing that i can see right now aussie cad what do we have uh uh, on Wednesday, I think we were engaged in this uh, bad pattern that got stopped us out. Uh, came all the way to targets to actually pass the targets to, but the spread was so big and uh, we didn't get filled for targets two, just got filled for targets one. There is a video on this, the crazy day in the market, so make sure to check it out. Let me bring it up here. There we go. And uh, yesterday we got nothing here. Today looks like. A little bit more of nothing maybe something like this or something yeah do, yesterday was like this but I'm not supposed to trade guardless on this and this was a guardless so I did not get engaged with it Aussie USD whew, what do we have here nothing yeah I don't see anything here not nothing of a big interest well if i were to, i was to read this i would say that this was the last pr prior uh previous outside return then this got breached and now i would look for patterns because technically on an hour one we are in consolidation but i don't see any x to a like that I, I could use maybe i could use this big one here uh for a gartley part pattern but you know it's far away from being a gartley or this is not even a, a b leg because it's not coming to 50 percent for bat so yeah besides this i don't see anything else so i'll be just waiting to see how what will price action do euro dollar euro dollar okay i think th this will go up uh but i don't have a way of engaging we are definitely in a bullish trend it came back, it made a pullback in pre uh, previous uh, outside return, which is, what? what is the previous, yeah, this level here. So if price action comes down a little bit to get us a better return, some of you might look at a trend continuation all the way to the high side of this candle. So bes uh, besides that, I don't see anything else for me. Pound dollar, yeah, you were... You see that I was checking out this X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. None of that happened. I don't see anything else besides this on this on this pair. Let's see. This was this something that I missed. Yeah, it was a big bad. Looks like X to A, A to B, B to C, and then we had a C to D completion. Let's see at what time. It was a big bad here. 
was what four o'clock yesterday there we go 100 pips we, we, we would be up shouldn't go overbought or sold did it go here 27 it did not but you know this week here is the reason why I didn't take this bad pattern because I didn't take just as, as I didn't take this week I decided not to take this one because you know although it is it is nice it is up and it could hit my target one I think for 100 pips yeah almost there uh, it was not a valid bad pattern for me so I don't feel sorry about it uh, good for you if you took it that's good for you and then we have, have a pound yen yeah since last week nothing not since last trade nothing with that being said guys thank you very much for watching this morning session i do this on a daily basis it varies some kind of an action if you are new here consider subscribing and we do this on a daily basis as i said i also post on this channel some kind of other financial education videos about stocks about investing about money saving and all of that cool stuff and uh, that's it basically see you in a few seconds in the afternoon session bye bye yo what's up guys and welcome to the afternoon session as i said in the morning session yeah it was pretty boring day in today's market however we did get a chance to get involved in one of the trades so and we might get a chance to involve in this gartley i think on a pound yen um, if i'm allowed to trade gartley so i have to see yeah so yeah i can get involved in this gartley if this happens let me show you just checking it out right now uh is it the gartley yeah it is so x to a to b b to c and then c d completion would be around that point let's see this but i don't think it will get filled within a one more hour if it does it says shouldn't go overbought oversold this candle is not overbought oversold yeah it's not so the gartley the price point of completion would be here so i would definitely that would be great risk to reward but we will see what's going to happen. I'm going to actually set up my alarm here and then we will see, sorry, alarm here. And then we will see what, what, what will happen. If this gets activated, I will uh, place my pending orders. Uh, now let's go from the beginning. I did take a trade here on this pair, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. As you can see, it was a losing trade loss. I think 15 pips in both positions. So it's what? uh history today was i don't know how is this even closing time i guess so yeah so it was loss of 30 pips overall that that's the loss here 30 pips but it's okay overall we are still up aussie cad we didn't get engaged in any of the trades aussie usd and back and forth back and forth also no no trades euro dollar no trades pound dollar well there is an interesting case here that I think I actually think that the price action will go down from this point on. Uh, I'm, this is also Gartley here. I think it's a Gartley. Yeah, it, it's touch, touching the 61. Let's see, is it touching the 61 here? No, it's not. It's touching the 50. So it's not. Well, I'm not supposed to trade Gartley. So anyway, that's not a pro. That's not the thing uh, that I'm interested in. However. There is another pattern that I still didn't take a single trade on this year, which is a cipher pattern. If you, if you take this as the X point, X to A, A to B, B to C, CD completion would be, is actually right here. So that's why I think the price action heel will reverse and go down because I've seen a lot of a bigger percentage like around 60 percent win rate on this pound dollar i but i just still didn't filter everything and i didn't put it in my system uh so i'm not trading it yet so but i think it will roll over and at least hit this price point let me just show you i think it will hit the price point of this so cool 70 pips here if somebody's interested in trading however the risk might be big the risk might be huge actually yeah, risk is 80 pips. If you want to risk this kind of, it's cool. You have a potential of winning actually two positions, like first 70, 70 something pips, and the second one would be almost 200 pips, almost 2%, depends on your risk to, uh, risk, ratio, uh, risk to reward, you know, the lot sizes and risk management, whatever you use, you have a big opportunity here if you're trading this kind of stuff. If not, well, basically that's it for today. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for staying 
from the beginning until the end of this week. This is your Forex market analysis and I do this on a daily basis. If you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel. You'll get notifications. YouTube will notify. Make sure to click that bell button so that YouTube can send you a notification. Also, comment below if you have any questions. You know, I always reply to comments. I read them on a daily basis and I reply to all of them. Like the button, click the, that like button because it does help with the YouTube algorithm as well. Thank you very much and have a beautiful weekend, guys. Bye-bye.